Okay, let's go and add a wiki in Moodle 1.9. Now, once again, I'm not going to talk about um, the uses of wikis, but merely just uh, sort of the basic mechanics of it. So we're in a course, we got our editing rights, we turn it on, and our wiki is an activity. So we click on activity, and we add a wiki. Let's give it a name. And we'll call this one Teaching Bet Technology. We'll give it a short description. Okay, I spared you my bet typing, so here it is. The question, what have been the positive and negative impacts of modern technology on the job of a high school teacher? Now, we can have groups or no groups. Um, there's certain, again, options that um, we can go into. I'm not going to go into these. Feel free to click the help buttons to find a little bit more about them. Well, let's say uh, we give it a page name, teaching with technology. Right. You can also upload a file, or a picture. But for now, in this simple explanation, let me just going to save changes and display the wiki. Now you can see the uh, the big question, the key question up here, and the edit button down below. So here is where teachers whoever's allowed, or students, whoever's allowed to edit this wiki, we'll give the permission to. Um, this is where they can type the entries. Okay, let's say the one person has uh, put in one positive and one negative, and saved it. As you can see, thank you for your contribution, and uh, the wiki up is now updated and displayed for all to edit. Let's see what an next person can do. They log in and see a wiki. Aha, uh -huh, teaching bit technology. Click on that and let's have a look. What have been the positive? Mm hmm, someone has already asked, tried to answer this one. Hmm, I think I might add to this. If nothing else, I'm actually going to split it into this is clearly a positive. And these are clearly negatives. Right, so this teacher thought that um, another positive, apart from editing it by using Moodle, kids are not bound to class anymore. This is the entry. And um, as a negative, they put the messaging system was quickly abused by a bunch of kids, need to monitor or turn off, which was actually a true situation at a school. This person saves it. And as wikis go, we can see the update displayed. Now with wikis, we can very quickly see the history of development of wiki. Of wiki. Um, let's say we'll imagine that this was another person editing but myself. Uh, we can see the version 1, version 2. We can browse and see, in uh, perhaps see the differences between version 1 and version 2. Um, we'll see the explanation, what has been highlighted in different color. And let's say we don't like this version 2, we just want to go back to um, version 1. And we can now edit version 1, and this will now become the latest version when we click the Save button. I would really encourage a bit of up this run uh, with wikis to get the hang of it. Now let's have a look how the wiki can actually be split um, even further. Okay, let's see, um, we want to change the question slightly to what impact have the following technologies had on your job as a high school teacher? So we actually changed the initial question a little bit. And this will be displayed. Now we want to sort of structure the responses a bit rather than going all over the place. We're going to edit this initial entry. As you can see, there's still old entries in there. And let's just get rid of this one. And now we can uh, break this wiki into certain sections as we as we wish. And there's a very useful and very handy and easy trick to do so. Uh, we do we enclose them in brackets. Uh, let's say laptops internet. Uh, let's say Moodle and we'll put in another one let's say um, that uh, LCD 
projectors. You, you can see we've got them enclosed now in brackets, in square brackets. We save it, and this is what's displayed. Now this black text with a uh, blue question mark means that no one has actually uh, replied to this one, no one has uh, contributed to it. So let's contribute to laptops discussion. So for example, this teacher said uh, he's found them great, really useful in the English class. We save it. And thank you for your contribution, is the entry, and we can always go back to the main page where you can see that the blue, black text with the question mark, which was the case before, has turned to blue text. This would indicate someone has actually changed the entry. So let's have a look. And as you can see, this is the entry we put in there. And it, should we want to further edit this entry, we can simply click the Edit button. Laptops have not only been, and so on. So there you go. A very quick introduction to wikis without any of the advanced features but having set the features you can insert images um, web links all sorts of things and uh, html if you're proficient in writing and, or embed the code in, for, for that matter as well hope this helps